Experiment 3. Different baseband waveforms and their harmonic measurement. You should already be familiar with electrical signals in general. We have already said that an oscilloscope is used to observe the amplitude of a waveform. In other words, it is used to observe how an electrical signal varies over time. However, depending on what we are trying to study, the reason for measuring a signal can also be different. For example, when we analyze amplifiers, filters, and mixers, we are no longer interested in measuring a fun function related to time, but a response function which can be categorized by frequency. In this experiment, you will find that analyzing a signal in the frequency domain often has a lot of advantages compared to analyzing a signal in a time domain. You will also find that there is a relationship that exists between the time domain and the frequency domain, and will thus gain a better understanding of the theory behind the Fourier series. Experimental principles are to set the waveform on GRF-1300 and measure the harmonic spectrum. Switch to a triangle waveforms and measure the harmonic spectrum. We will become familiar with using a spectral analyzer and how to use the GIF-1300 by analyzing the spectrum of a simple triangle signal. Turn on the GIF-1300 and the GSP-730. Set the GIF-1300 basis band as follows. Waveform, triangle. Frequency. 1 megahertz. Turn the input amplitude knob clockwise to the end. Connect the base band signal from the output port on the GIF1300 to the input terminal on GSP7300 with the RF cable. Set the GSP730 as follows. Send the frequency 15 megahertz. Start frequency 0 kHz. Stop frequency 30 MHz. Span 3 MHz. Reference level 0 dBm. Observe the spectrum that appears. Use the mark function on the spectrum and ledger to determine the harmonic ratio. Marker. Mode. Delta. Enter. 2 megahertz. Now, the second harmonic is shown on the screen. Enter 4 megahertz. Third harmonic is shown on the screen. After measuring the spectrum, connect the output port to the input port of the oscilloscope. And measure the time domain waveform of the triangle wave. Now, now the triangle wave is shown on the oscilloscope. This concludes my demonstration. Thank you.